In this video, I'm going to show you how to do eight watercolor techniques. To begin, let's label your paper with the correct technique in each box. Then outline in pencil, I'm using color pencil, the drawing that you want to eventually paint in each box. Our first technique is wet on wet. You're going to want to paint your background color. Then while that background paint is wet, add a second color. Paint the details. This creates a soft and blurry effect. Next we have wet on dry. So with this one, you want to paint your background, let it dry before applying your second layer. This technique is used for creating an image with sharp edges. I'm going to let it dry, so I'm going to move on to the next technique. So I'll come back to wet on dry. Next we have an even wash. So what you want to do is, with just water, fill in the section where you want to apply an even coat of paint. Only water, no pigment. Then after you've placed the water where you want your pigment, then you're going to apply the watercolor in that spot. Just move it around very carefully into that section. You're going to want to practice this a few times. It does take some practice to master this technique. Up next we have graduated wash. This is making value with your paint. This is another tricky one to, to do, so you're going to want to practice this one a few times. So start applying your color on the paper, then slowly drag your paintbrush in the direction where you want it to lighten up in value. Little by little as you progress down your paper, it, the color will start to fade and become lighter. 
You may need additional water. So just see what happens when you're making it and add water if you need it a little bit at a time. Sometimes if you add too much water, it just gets out of control. You'll discover that with watercolor. Yay, my background is dry, so now I'm going to add that second layer, adding wet paints onto the dry background, painting my little details. Adding more interest to my work, I'm mixing colors on my palette. great thing about watercolor is you can use any sort of plastic or ceramic surface to mix your colors and you can rinse it right off of that surface um, your palette it shouldn't stain porcelain or ceramic or plastic For my last four techniques on stippling and dry brush, I painted my backgrounds first before actually attempting the technique. Alright, for stippling, all I'm going to do is pick my colors and then just gently stipple it on, dot it on to my surface. I'm painting a tree here using my turquoise, yellow, and then I mix some green. And when I stipple it on, those colors sort of blend and melt into each other. They bloom into each other. So this stippling is like the wet on wet technique. Because while it's still wet, those other spots where I dotted on. Whoops, I made a little mistake there. <laughs> I got some magenta on the dry brush. I did put a little bit of magenta in there to darken the value of the tree in some spots. So I'm going to try to recover that spot and remove some of that magenta in that dry brush section. So what I'm doing is I'm adding water and I'm lifting the color with a paper towel. For dry brush, I want to get my brush as dry as possible. I just need enough water on the bristles of the paintbrush to activate the watercolor and I just am going in a vertical stroke so that I can paint grass. So the resulting strokes have a scratchy look that lacks the smooth appearances of um, a wash or a blend. Again, off camera on my next technique, the drip, I actually prepared the background so it's dry. Now what I'm doing is I'm picking up my watercolor and I'm using a few colors and I'm pretty much getting working it up into a puddle. So a lot of a lot of water and quite a bit of pigment and then I'm going to hold hold it down straight down and guide it with my paintbrush trying to encourage that paint to drip. So with gravity, the paint will start to move down the paper.
Now here is our last technique, blotting. So I am putting down some blue, putting my paint down there. I've mixed a few colors to get sort of a gray tone. I'm trying to make some clouds. So I'm moving the paint around where I want it and then I'm going to take my paper towel and remove some of the paint that I don't want. So blotting is essentially lifting some of the color that you don't want there. So again, I do want some strong, vibrant pigment in some places, but with my paper towel I'm trying to pick up some of that pigment where I don't actually want it that strong. I want to make it lighter in value. And that's when my paper towel comes in handy. And I just go back and forth with the color and my paper towel and I just keep repeating this until I get the effect that I want.